the police can go for narco analysis test but this should be done as an independent body or not a directly direct body should be involved under a supervision of a lawyer and the confession made by the accused will not be treated as confession typically as per the indian evidence act but only a statement given to the police a court in saket new delhi has allowed delhi police to conduct a narco test on aftaf punawala the 28 year old man was accused of killing his 27 year old live in partner shraddha walker in may punawala allegedly chopped up walker's body in many pieces he disposed of them in a wooded area in south delhi over several weeks after the police moved court seeking permission for a narco test punawala consented so in light of the recent event a top criminology and crime science professor tells us what is a narco test and if the results of such tests are considered as confessions narco test or narco the word narco comes from the greek word called as anesthesia so narco test or narco analysis is done by using anesthesia called sodium pentothal or some similar sodium amylate or else also is there where it will be uh, given intravenous to the accused and they it will lower the consciousness of the accused not only really accused to any person it is uh, given the person will be in a lower consciousness uh, level state so that way around what is happening is that they will be more lightened and they will open up many things so that is the understanding where this anesthesia is given to uh, any accused where uh, he will or she will confess uh, the crimes committed traditionally what happens with the indian policing or any form of policing is that they use third degree methods to confess and in this case of confession uh, many times uh, some of the prisoners or some of the under trials they uh, lose their lives also uh, as a modern criminal justice system we need to use advanced scientific methods to extract confession from an accused but as per our indian constitution article 21 one cannot give a confession against themselves or a self incrimination against themselves so that way it becomes a little bit difficult one where police use more third degree methods to extract confession but now these kind of modern techniques like polygraph or narco analysis or available or brain mapping is available where you can uh, extract confession from one person so that way these uh, techniques are being used see we are living in a modern 21st century which is more digital in nature and uh, many crimes are being committed and many accused are there and at trials or even the prisoners so modern uh, techniques uh, uh, give more um, kind of uh, understanding of the mind of the person or the brain of the person how the person uh, whether they have committed the crime or not so they would speak uh, on that particular thing so without torturing that person they can uh, tell the uh, truth so even narco analysis is called as truth serum truth serum where that intravenous injection is being done and then people will um, confess whatever they have done according to selvi vs state of karnataka a case in 2010 all these techniques including narco analysis polygraph and uh, brain mapping are considered illegal and invalid however the supreme court also advised that in case the accused is giving permission for narco analysis under the guidance of a judicial magistrate the police can go for narco analysis test but this should be done as an independent body or not a directly direct body should be involved under a supervision of a lawyer and the confession made by the accused will not be treated as confession typically as per the indian evidence act but only a statement given to the police so this is what the crux of selvi versus karnataka has been given and the past uh, 12 years um, this is what is happening in our country so as per our indian constitution it is right against self incrimination and also right to privacy this particular uh, narco analysis brain mapping as well as uh, the polygraph can be utilized only as an aid to investigation but not as the ultimate evidence 
for the past 10 years after the selvi versus state of karnataka there were many cases like abdul karim telgi stamp scam uh, they it was used narco analysis was used and also this arusi hemraj murder case also narco analysis was used for the parents uh, the talwars uh, narco analysis was used and also nitari killings also narco analysis was used now very recently in the shraddha case which has happened uh, in delhi where uh, mr poona wala has uh, cut the woman into 35 pieces and then discarded her body in several places so in this case a delhi court has given permission uh, to uh, the police to conduct narco analysis on the accused poona wala with his consent only so that way it becomes valid as per the selvi versus state of uh, karnataka supreme court judgment however whatever wala says will be used only as a statement but will not be used as a confession against him and the conviction will not be based on the outcome of the court analysis